Right, um, I think that the room I'm going to with the puzzle has some items I can take, so I'm just gonna get some stuff out of the way so I can clear it out, hopefully anyway. I'd just be on the safe side and clear a bunch of spaces. Because I don't like having to go back and forth and back and forth between each room. It's better to just clear it out and then if any zombies or anything comes, then I'm, you know, I don't have to keep going back and forth and getting bitten all the time. There's not much here though, just that spider and I don't know if it actually ever gets to me unless I try to shoot it or wake it up. See it there? Anyway, I'll just try to get the stuff first and then we'll look at the puzzle. First aid box. Well, just... I'm not asking if there's anything unusual, I'm just trying to open it. I know what green and blue herb. I was hoping for a first aid spray, but there's something. Anyway, the puzzle. I don't like the way that thing is moving around. The area is clear now, so yeah, the puzzle. Okay, this is green, and the eye under it doesn't have any of those eyelash looking things. So. It, hold on, you'll see how it works out. Green has six. So the eye symbol without any eyelashes is six. So how I'm going to remember this is zero equals six. It sounds a bit strange, but it'll work out in the end. This is two, and it's orange light. To be honest, the orange look closer to three, but I'm gonna say that it's five. So we'll have two eyelash things. Two equals um, five, or maybe three. So zero equals six, two equals five. Zero, six, two, five. Sorry if I keep reminding myself, I just gotta keep it in my head. Zero is six, two is five, and three has a reddish light. And a reddish light. It's got to be three. So zero is six, two is five, and wait, zero is six, two is five, three is three. I think. Right, yeah. Zero, six, two, five, three, three. This will make sense, sort of, soon. Zero, six, oh, for God's sake, just move, would you? Zero, six, two, five, three, three. Yeah, I got us.
Right, this one is the one with zero eyelashes. I'm gonna put it at six. Now the one with two eyelash, wait, zero, six, two. This one should be at five. And I think this one should be at three. There we got it. So it sort of makes sense. A bit, anyway. <laughs> now we have the chemicals to make the poison here. I don't know if I can make them right now or... I'm gonna need a lot of storage space to do that anyway. You don't know much about medicine, so there's no point in taking the empty bottle. All right. Well, that's sort of me told. Let's see, is there anything else to take now, or...? Oh, oh, I need the book. Yeah, I, I knew there was something, I just couldn't quite place it. I suppose I also may as well save. Well, that might be my last ink ribbon, so... Should I? Hmm, don't know. I might, up, I might end up in a situation again where I kind of, you know, I have to go really, really far without saving. Which isn't bad if it works out, but if you die and then you have to play like half a game again, it can be kind of frustrating. It sort of adds to having a kind of high stakes for like, you know, when you're you actually kind of like, oh god, I don't want to die. Whereas if you just respawn right next to, right next, right next to where you were, like most games, uh, it's like, why would you even be scared of dying? Uh, gonna bring that. Well, actually, maybe I should use up the other shotgun first. Yeah, I'll bring that. Save the self-defense gun. The unprinted book. I actually think I'm going to save up the ink ribbon. Because I've only got one of them and it could be a really long time before I get another. The puzzle wasn't so hard anyway. I don't think I'm gonna need this right now, so I'll put that away and uh, maybe I'll get some health just in case. Yeah, that seems like a decent setup.
Oh yeah, it's that way, isn't it? For a minute I was thinking it was the other door, but yeah. Bindings of a book seem to form some kind of pattern. Reorder the books, and I have to make it in a way that they form pi a picture. I don't really remember how this works. works at all. Let me try to get the foot over there. Oh, now I'm going somewhere. Yeah, I think I've got the hand of it now. I'm not really sure those line up. No, no, this sort of works. Hopefully I don't get uh, demonetized to that one. Puzzle complete, anyway. Before, but Bringing the knife was a good idea. I don't think it's really gonna work. You I can't actually move where I want to. They did say when it's opening itself up, it's um... If they say it was vulnerable, probably not, but I think it might have been... sense, wouldn't it? this funny camera view of it to mean something, right? Oh, I, oh. It's a good thing I bought that, man. Oh, what? Get the fuck off me. Are any 
easy hits in it. Oh shit. Oh, I don't want to get killed here. I have to do all those puzzles again. I wish you'd stop kissing that sucker. If I hadn't brought a thing, I'd be dead now. And now we'll go back to the mansion and uh, unlock a few more doors. That might be the, hel the helmet key that so many fins were locked behind. Yeah, it is. this room clear? <gasps> oh, you scared me. You okay? Yeah, it's dead. But... Richard... He's... Gone. I'm sorry. It's my fault. I should have watched out for him. I found a pharmaceutical room. I think I can come up with something useful. I'll be there. I'm glad you're still okay. Um. Is she saying she can heal me there? This room is equipped with all sorts of medical supplies. Uh, Want me to treat your wounds? This is one area of like his sort of playthrough, if you will, where you get a bit of an advantage over Jill. Like when you're playing as Jill, you don't see Rebecca, so you don't. Yeah, you know, would you? You can't keep filling your health up. Thanks. Because of this, I've been able to save up a lot of health. Oh. Be strong, Rebecca. Take care, Chris. <laughs> you know, she's just perked up suddenly, like, at one moment, she's breaking down, and then the next, it's just, oh, take care. Um, when you're playing as Jill, you would, uh, you'd put all these jars together and make some kind of poison to kill the plant. But it seems like playing as Chris, all you had to do was just shoot it up a bit. Which is fine by me, I, I remember the, making the poison being a bit sort of tedious anyway, so yeah, I'm fine with that. Now you might remember that there was a room somewhere with a plant, here it was, where the plant was coming through and it couldn't really get much. I'm gonna go there while I can and take whatever items there were. Don't know if there was much, but there might be something or the other. After that, then I'm headed back to the mansion and we'll use the key, unlock new doors, go through all sorts of new areas.
So you remember I had to push down the boxes because this was full of water before. Um, I had to drain the water to kill the sharks, but let's also drain this. Luckily I opened up another wave of it, like this door was locked from the other side before. I genuinely don't remember what items there are in this room, if there are even any at all. But there's got to be something though. Maybe a file even, anything. Think it's this way. Yeah, here it is. The locker's completely soaked, there's nothing special. It looks like a control system for the water tank, but it's broken and can't be used. All right, same thing. Nothing here. Oh. I think maybe I'm getting mixed up then with uh, the playthrough where you play as Jill. Maybe there was something there when you played as her instead. I don't know why they made a big deal of uh, the fi in that file though of saying like, oh, it's blocked off this room, it's rooted down there. Like, why make such a big fuss about that if there's not going to be anything in there? Oh well, anyway. Now we're headed back to the mansion. Wesker? Chris, you're alive. My words exactly. Where's Jill? Thought you were with her. Yeah, I know. We got separated. I see. Anyway, we better find a way out of here before we turn into zombie food. Got any suggestions, Wesker? We should get a better grip on the situation. There must be areas still to be explored in that other mansion. Chris, I want you to check them out one more time. I'll continue my investigation here. Sure thing. Uh, 
I don't have to worry uh, going past this now because the plant's dead, but before it would grab you and like take some of your health. I don't need that. Oh, I've used up that shotgun, so I'm going to put it away and I'll get my new one. Maybe now I'll save. Yeah, I think now would be a good timing. Still some kerosene here if I need it. So I have to, I'll just remember that I've got like one more use of this one here. might go past here again so I might get to make use of it. Yeah, assault shotgun holds more ammo. Uh, I don't know if uh, any other stats about it are better, like, you know, is it faster firing or anything like that. Gonna bring an ink ribbon to save. Mm. I think that's about it. Krista Brad, can you hear me? Brad! Damn! Don't worry about being bit. Um, last time there were crows, so that kind of caught me off guard a bit. Oh shit, these things are not when they're biting me. There's some dogs here as well, but last time I was able to just creep around them pretty easily. Hopefully it's the same this time. Wesker might have left me some stuff. It's got to be him, right? Use this to protect yourself from that monster in chains that can't be hurt by guns. I also fixed the doorknob to make sure you can get away. Wesker. Alright, well he's fixed that annoying door that is always on the verge of breaking. So that's nice. I don't really get though, he says, there's a monster that can't be hurt by guns, and he says, oh, use this to hurt it, and it's some bullets for a gun. <laughs> I mean, like, I thought it couldn't be hurt by guns. Yeah, yeah, I want whatever that is. I think it's a dagger. Yeah, it's a dagger. Got quite a bit of stuff like that now. 
three defensive items. There's a dog here. Oh, the dog went. Find my knee. This is what I meant earlier when I kept saying, oh, Finns might get more dangerous in the mansion and, uh, oh, there might be other creatures. Like, I kept trying to hint, but I didn't want to spoil it. There, um, now I've got him to deal with, probably some more of his type, uh, so you can see why I didn't want to have that door broken all the time. See what we can unlock now, I suppose. That uses a Spencer family emblem key. So we're not going to unlock that. Not much on this whole side of it. I wonder if the dogs are still in that hallway. I can pretty much avoid it anyway. Anything up here? There is a room up there. Not really anything I can see on that side. But up there, there are some things. And there's that place up the top here. All right, I'm gonna start uh, here. I don't think I can usually just run past them like that. I think I got very lucky there. Don't really remember what what actually even is here.
don't remember exactly how this works. I think I push it to the side or something like that. Well, I know is I've got to do it quick before the things come back. The walls, I mean. Yeah, I've got to push it there, haven't I? Quick. There we go. Not really a very difficult puzzle, to be honest. There's a hole at your feet. You can't see very far into it though. Go down. Well, why just jump down some dark hole that you have no idea what's in there? Oh, for crying out loud. November 29th, 1967. I can't get out. I have tried every possible way to escape, but only to be to be faced with a reality that I'm trapped. I've been everywhere. The laboratory with the large glass tubes filled with formaldehyde and those dark, wet and eerie caves. What can I do? At first I didn't want to believe my eyes, but that familiar high-heeled shoe in the corridor. It was like reflex. One name came to my mind, Jessica. I don't want to believe they share the same fate as me. No, I can't give up hope. I have to hope they're alive. November 30th, 1967. I haven't had anything to eat or drink for the past few days. I feel like I'm going crazy. Why is this happening to me? Why do I have to die like this? I was too obsessed with designing this ghastly mansion. I should have known better. November 31st, 1967. It was a dark and damp underground tunnel and another dead end. But even in the darkness, something caught my eye. Carefully, I lit the last match I had to see what it was. A grave. But deeply engraved into the stone was my name. George Trevor. At that instant, it all became clear to me. Those bastards knew from the beginning that I'd die here and I fell right into their trap. But it's too late now. I'm losing it. Everything is becoming so far away. Jessica, Lisa, forgive me. Because of my ego, I got both of you involved in this whole damn conspiracy. Forgive me. May God justify my death in exchange for your safety, George Trevor. A name is carved into the small gravestone, George Trevor. There's a switch, press it. I'm gonna have to go back here to get that book. Unfortunately, I really hope I don't have to pass through the a hunter, that's what they call them, those sort of frog-like creatures again. I think I could get him with handgun rounds if I'm lucky. Wasted all my ammo too. Oh well. Is that another one there? 
is, isn't it? Ooh. Oh fuck, am I po- I'm poisoned, shit. Don't you just get out the way, get out the way. I don't know why that one took so much damage. There's a map of a mansion, B1, take it. Alright, dead end there. And the other way, it looks like it leads back into that old place that I went by. So I can't really describe it much better than that. I'll memory. Is that shotgun rounds? Take them in a bit. Maybe there's a blue herb nearby. Is there... No. <laughs> I can hear something. This isn't too bad, I think I'll be able to get to... I'll get to a, a blue herb soon. I hadn't uh, picked up those shotgun rounds now. Dagger, take that. I think I'll stab these two. Or maybe I'll pop one of them head, one of their heads if I can. Yep. Perfectly. Uh, Since his head's popped, I don't need to burn his body. Oh, well that'll blow up his head, so I don't need to worry about him either. Looks kind of dangerous. No need to burn anybody, so... I'm gonna switch over the... Seems like a bad idea when it's full of water like this, but... <laughs> I think that will mean I can use a lift, which should open up even more areas. I will come back here though for the other stuff. I can just run past those two for now. There's a lift in there that I'm going to use, but I need to cure the poison. I was walking kind of slowly. I'm not doing good for health, so hopefully I can survive this.
thinking if I can make my way up there. Then there's a box. Hopefully not too, too many enemies. One shotgun shot round. I don't know. Actually, if I don't have any handgun ammo, why am I carrying that around with me? I use that. Now I'm healed and should be full health. I might find more shotgun ammo, so I'm gonna keep that for now. Something's gotta go though because I'm just not able to carry bed. Or maybe what I'll do is just unlock all the doors first, and then I, that will free up a space. Let's see. Don't think there's anything on this floor, although there is that lift down there in uh, this room. I wanna try that out at some point. There's a room there, that might work. And the one all the way over there. Don't know if I want to go there yet. I'm gonna try that room next, I think. Oh no, actually I'll try this one and then head out, go to the main hall, down and then there. to the Chief of Security. Confidential, attention, Chief of Security. Date, July 22nd, 1998, 2.13. X day is drawing upon us. Execute the following procedures within one week. Prompt actions are demanded. Number one, lure stars to the estate and obtain BOWs and raw combat data against stars. 2. Collect two embryos of each mutated specimen as samples, excluding the tyrant. Dispose of the tyrant. Number 3. Ensure complete disposal of the Arclay laboratory, including all personnel and test, test animals. Disguise their deaths as an accident. When the, when the above procedures are executed, report to headquarters for further instructions. If for some reason you are unable to execute the procedure by the deadline, report immediately. In case of emergency situations, report directly to the extension number 5691. Good luck. Umbrella Headquarters, Umbrella Inc. And there's some funny little puzzle here. What is that? Dagger, those are always useful. Um, I'll leave that here for now. I'm 
I'm gonna need to clear some space, I think. I think I've got to somehow push the thing while the, the bird's not looking at me. Anyway. I can finally unlock this door. I know, I already could actually. There's uh, creatures there though, so... Uh, let's just see if I can make it. If not, I'll just turn around. <laughs> I can't make it through there. I'm going to have to pick another way around. Alright, hold on. Clear some more space. put everything away for now. There's got to be enough room now. It's a shame because in that hallway where the two uh, crimson head like super zombies were, there's actually some handgun ammo. I'd kind of like to take that. I don't know if I'm going to be able to without actually facing them. Uh, which probably isn't even worth the hassle really just to get the few handgun bullets anyway so I'm going to push this ready to take one of them oh there's two of these chests of drawers I can't get it while he's looking at me though. So I need to somehow quickly move and get to it before he turns around. That bird up there. Oh yeah, I've got through it. There we go. Do the same for the other. I don't know if I can take his eye as well, or we'll see. I'll just get in and out to reset it. Pretty sure that I only need the yellow one. I have no idea what the red one's for. I'll just stick it in a box. I might stick them both in a box for now anyway. Let me think. I'm probably gonna head out through that way, the lawn terrace. Unless there's like creatures there, in that case I'll find another route. Main point of this is I'm going to get to the main hall, unlock that door, then through here again, 
unlock the other one. Not sure I want to go up there yet, actually. We'll see. Yeah, I'll put them both away for now. Thank you. 